it's now possible to be anyone, to be anywhere, to live your best Instagram life, to live your dream holiday life, even to be the star of your favorite movie, to explore new worlds, to step into the spotlight, or to enjoy the luxury lifestyle. All with just a little bit of AI. This is me, but not really me, it's an AI version of myself. Stick with me and I'll show you two easy ways to put yourself within your own movies. So the first platform we're in here is One Way Act 2. And the first thing you're gonna do when you come in here is you're gonna record a performance video, which you can see here at the top of the screen. This is me, but not really me, because this is an AI version of me. Stick with me and I'll show you two easy ways to do this for yourself. Then below that, you will have a character video. You choose 16 by nine and generate. So that's in the queue, generating. And now I'll show you how you can do this you hit record here. This is where you can record a performance video. So I'm launching my camera. This is just on my laptop, on my MacBook. Selfie camera. The name's Lawson, Barnabas Lawson. Licensed to make AI films. Do you like my Aston Martin? Then you can see here I've got a character video here. This is where the performance video will be put onto. And this character video has some motion to it because it was created within Seed Dance, which helps it to look a lot more interesting than just using a static image. The name's Lawson, Barnabas Lawson, licensed to make AI films. Do you like my Aston Martin? So here we are within the design platform and the first stage of this process is to create an image. So within the design platform, that's quite easy because you can use the consistent characters to build your image. And that's what I did for each of the images which were turned into videos in the intro sequence. So here we are in AI character, generate an image, and you choose your image here. I'm choosing my character Barnabas, and I have a prompt to paste in. And I've used ChatGPT to help me to come up with a prompt for this scene, and I paste that into the box there. So just adjust this to say Barnabas as a rugged man wearing cold weather climbing gear and then I'm going to choose the aspect ratio which is going to be 16 by 9 and then click generate and immediately you can see that's starting the task in the queue in the top right corner there. Generating images is really quick on design so that will be done very quickly and here's the two images that's generated from this prompt. So once you've got the picture you want you can click on AI video choose the number of the picture you like there then you can choose the AI video tool you want to bring it to life with. I love Seed Dance Pro, but in this case here, I'm going to use Google VO3 just to be able to include the sound effects and the dialogue easily within one prompt. I also use ChatGPT to help me create the JSON prompt, which includes the dialogue and telling it that I don't want any music in the sound effects. And then also, I gave it the, before I got the JSON prompt, I gave it the picture output and showed it the picture that I want to bring to life with this bit of script. Then I paste in the JSON prompt here. In this example here, I'm just changing it to a slightly longer bit of text so that you can see the output from this. And then just click generate. This is possible with just a little bit of AI. The issue with using VO3 is that you have different voices for different clips. So that's where Eleven Labs comes in. And obviously the price of VO3 is also an issue as well. But to overcome the different voices, you can drop into Voice Changer here, your video clips, and then choose the voice. I chose a voice that's recorded using my own voice, Barnabas Dawson, and then I'm able to generate audio clips that sound very similar to each other using my voice to give that consistency. Once you've generated those voice clips using 11 labs, 
and you've put the original VO3 video with the audio and the 11 Labs audio on the timeline, you can line them up like I'm doing here inside of the CapCut editor. And then once you've lined them up, you can then remove the original dialogue from the VO3 by clicking into isolate voice and remove vocal. And that gives you the excellent result where you now can have the same voice in every clip and keep that consistent voice. And then make sure to normalize the voice to get that consistent audio level across all the voices. If you enjoyed this video and want to start creating your own AI cinematic videos, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest videos that are out every week. And as a gift, when you join our AI community, I have got the PDF with all of the prompts from today's video. Inside the AI creator community, we have over 400 people who are using AI video tools to create cinematic videos for their business and for the social media. We also have amazing guests who come into the community and share incredible insights into what's happening, as well as the chance to just ask me any questions around AI video and the content creation process. So if you'd like to join, check out the pinned comment below for the link to join the community and I'll see you inside.